and the Florida Cattlemen's Association. Please join me in welcoming Mr. Willie Jones. Good morning. I bring you greetings from the great Seminole tribe and uh, Chairman Billy. He cannot be here today because of council meetings. Now, our part here today with the uh, 550 years is that um, we, we sponsor two reenactments down in the south, and one is a pivotal battle that we fought on the battle on the Lake Okeechobee. So we, we uh, sponsor the Battle of Lake Okeechobee. And, uh, and then we do a, a shootout in the, in the Everglades at Billy Swamp Safari. And uh, our, uh, our stand here with the uh, 450 and the 500, you know, um, we too have to, uh, Native people have to, you know, uh, do their part also. And uh, in, in our communities, we have charter schools. In our charter schools, we teach our grade schools, our culture, our language. You know, before Florida was La Florida, or before y'all changed our name, do you, do you realize that Florida had a, a name before La Florida? It's called Canfasque. In the Creek language, it means sharp land. So maybe we need to change it back there. <laughs> Food for thought. Gun Fusky. Everybody can say it too, right? Gun Fusky. It's the La Florida. <laughs> anyway, I didn't mean to steer off on that. And we, we, all, we also, in our schools, we teach our children our language. We, we have two languages. A lot of people don't know that. And uh, we teach the Cow Creek and we teach the Miccosukee language. We have two charter schools, one in Brighton and one in Big Cypress. <coughs> and all these classes are integrated into these kids' curriculum. So they have to learn how to do their algebra, they know how they gotta learn how to read, read English. And they have to know how to do all the what it takes to become a well-rounded student. And by incorporating our native teaching, it makes them a more rounded student. And uh, it's come to the point where uh, did you know that uh, English now in our culture is our foreign language? We can use, in college, we can use English as our foreign language if, as long as we're fluent in the other two languages. So that's a good trade-off. Matter of fact, I used it when I was in college because I'm fluent in my language. So, like I said, education. So we're, we're using that education. And uh, I like Mr. Young's speech. He talked a lot about the, the Native people and the atrocity that they, they uh, endured. You know, and uh, as much as we want to excuse it and just forget about it, but we can't because it, it did happen. And there's people here today that would remind you that it happened, you know. So we need to bring it out, show, show the people what took place, teach, teach everybody, educate everybody in the, the atrocities. You know, I only represent my native group here in Florida the Seminole tribe. But you know, this European contact touched a lot of other Native people who are not represented 
anywhere in this spectrum because we're here in Dunfusky, right? <laughs> we're here in Florida, so so uh, yeah, we and we teach our heritage because we we uh, in our culture teaching the way the light, the way the Seminoles lived, how they how they survived in the Everglades during the wars. You know, we fought three different wars here in the United here in Florida, you know, and over a fifty years span. Those those are important to us because they it made us use our culture, because our culture teaches us how to live. How to survive. We learned how to use our medicine. We learned different food varieties, even here in Florida. You know, when you go down south, you know, the, the, the food changes drastically. So we, uh, we had to adapt to these things. We teach our kids how to cook these type of foods so that. One day, if it ever came back on us, they could build a fire and stay warm. I noticed last night that uh, right in the middle of the football game, everybody talked about football, you know, right in the middle of the game, we had a power surge at the hotel. I cussed it and hit it, you know, and just trying to fix it. But so, but if you didn't have it, and you got you got a fire that's yeah, nothing to worry about. So, education. I can't say enough about it. That this is where this is where it needs to begin. You know, I saw a, I saw an artist rendition in the hallway, and I said, "Oh my God, that's got to be wrong." You know, a native woman handing a Spanish a flower. They would have probably been running. You got the wrong side. You need to see her back end running. You know, from so you know, so these are the type of things, but I, I'm joking about that. <laughs> so yes, education and uh, what else is there to say? We just gotta dig it out. Say it. Don't be afraid. Thank you.